Looking for a movie that'll keep you hooked? Pick Up on South Street from 1953 is a real gem full of funny, shocking, and sad moments. Curious about a scene that'll stick with you? Or do you have a special memory tied to this classic? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. Keep watching and let the nostalgia flow. Pick Up on South Street, a film from 1953, is a classic in the noir genre. Directed by Samuel Fuller, it tells the story of Skip McCoy, a skilled pickpocket who accidentally steals a wallet containing top-secret government information. This sets off a chain of events involving federal agents, a woman named Candy, and a street-smart informant named Mo Williams. Set in the tense post-war Cold War era, the movie captures the gritty atmosphere of New York City. Its dark cinematography and settings delve into the underworld and the politics of the 1950s. As the plot unfolds, unexpected twists keep viewers engaged. The characters in the film are compelling and complex. Skip McCoy is portrayed as an anti-hero, Candy has a mysterious allure, and Mo is street smart. Their interactions add depth to the story, keeping audiences captivated. Pick Up on South Street has earned acclaim over the years for its tense plot, memorable characters, and atmospheric cinematography. While it didn't win major awards, its influence on the noir genre and its popularity among audiences and filmmakers are undeniable. In conclusion, Pick Up on South Street is a timeless classic that combines elements of crime, espionage, and human drama. Its appeal lies in its compelling characters, setting, and storytelling. A must-watch for fans of noir and classic cinema alike. In the subway's opening scene, a soldier wearing the big red 1 1st Infantry Division shoulder patch disembarks. Writer-director Samuel Fuller, a World War II veteran, later crafted a film about this division titled The Big Red One. Joseph, the husband, transitioned from acting to advertising at Young and Rubicam, eventually rising to a top executive position. He received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame at 68800 Hollywood Boulevard in Hollywood, California on February 8, 1960. Pick Up on South Street, featuring Maria Saxenti in Italy, was dubbed by various actresses in different films. In this movie, Rena Morley provided the voice. Saxenti lent her voice to Ritter only once in All About Eve. Pick Up on South Street star, an activist, advocated for stronger gun control laws. Additionally, the original Don Quixote in Man of La Mancha was portrayed by Sexenti. Pick Up on South Streets leads influence extended beyond acting, advocating for causes close to her heart. In Pick Up on South Street, a movie from 1953, there's an interesting link to various actors' careers and later influences. The lead actor, Richard Kiley, won two Tony Awards for his roles in Redhead in 1959 and Man of La Mancha in 1966. Kylie was also nominated for his performances in No Strings in 1962 and the 1987 revival of Arthur Miller's All My Sons. Apart from the movie, actors Willis Bouchy and Milburn Stone appeared together in the TV series Gunsmoke in 1955, with Stone playing Doc Adams and Bouchy as a town sheriff. The movie's influence even reached contemporary television as actress Ree Perlman took inspiration from Richard Kiley's character for her role as Thelma Katz on the 2013 TV show Kirsty. In short, Pick Up on South Street not only made its mark in 1953, but also had a lasting impact on its actors' careers, highlighting how interconnected the entertainment industry is. In Pick Up on South Street, he played a mean character. But in real life, he didn't like violence and felt sorry for causing harm, even to a fish he caught. While filming with Sidney Poitier, he felt bad about saying racist things. He died about six months after he hurt his back in a fall. Director Robert Aldrich said she did great in Apache with Burt Lancaster because she really didn't like him, which helped her act better. This interesting difference between how actors are on screen and off shows how complicated people can be. It shows that even if someone seems one way in public, they might be different in private. These insights help us understand actors better. The way reality and acting mix shows how good movies can be and how they can affect people. Pick Up on South Street teaches us a lot about human nature. Richard Widmark, known for his roles in important movies, starred in Pick Up on South Street, one of the three movies chosen for the National Film Registry by the Library of Congress. The movie is recognized for its cultural, historical, and artistic significance. Before appearing in films, he worked on various radio programs during the 1930s and 1940s. His move to film marked a big change in his career, showing his ability in different types of entertainment. 
He appeared in four Oscar Best Picture nominees Miracle on 34th Street, A Letter to Three Wives, All About Eve, and How the West Was Won, with All About Eve winning the award. This shows his contribution to well-known and praised productions. Movies like Judgment at Nuremberg and How the West Was Won further show his impact on cinema and his dedication to important projects. His list of movies shows his lasting presence in the industry. In entertainment, his varied career, covering radio and film, remains an interesting story of a performer who worked in different genres and times. His place in history is shown through movies like Pick Up on South Street, a cinematic gem. Pick Up on South Street, a 1953 film, gained notable attention for various reasons. Firstly, it's worth noting that Marilyn Monroe sat in on a rehearsal for the movie and even read for the role of Candy. However, writer-director Samuel Fuller felt that Monroe's overwhelming sensuality didn't quite fit the character, ultimately opting for a different casting choice. Additionally, the film got remade as The Cape Town Affair in 1967, featuring James Brolin, Jacqueline Bissett, and Claire Trevor. This remake brought the essence of the original to a new audience with a fresh interpretation. Furthermore, Pick Up on South Street marked a significant moment in the career of an actress who received her first Oscar nomination for All About Eve in 1950. This nomination was the first of four consecutive nods, a notable achievement she shares with only a handful of other actors and actresses. In conclusion, the movie remains noteworthy in cinema history, not only for its storyline, but also for behind-the-scenes anecdotes and its influence on those involved in its creation. Pick Up on South Street, a notable film from the 1950s, holds a place in cinematic history for several reasons. Despite not being a Best Picture nominee, it shares a connection with three films that were The Alamo, Judgment at Nuremberg, and How the West Was Won, all recognized by the Oscars in the early 1960s. This connection underscores its significance within the broader context of film history. Additionally, someone involved in the making of the movie, possibly a cast or crew member, had a unique past. They once worked with a group of seven tigers at the now-defunct Jungle Inn in Thousand Oaks, California. This interesting detail adds a layer of fascination to the background of the production. Furthermore, the movie has left its impact internationally, particularly in Italy. There, the actors' performances were often dubbed by Lydia Simonski, with occasional help from Dihia Cristiani, Michele Giustiniani, and Andrena Pagnani. This aspect highlights the global reach and appeal of the film. In conclusion, although not receiving the same level of Oscar recognition as some of its contemporaries, the movie has nevertheless left a lasting impression on cinematic history, both domestically and abroad. Pick Up on South Street, a 1953 movie, is a notable crime film featuring a plot centered around a lifelong liberal Democrat involved in the underworld. Donald E. Westlake, a popular crime novelist, adopted the pen name Richard Stark, drawing inspiration from the first part of one of the lead actor's name. Aside from his contributions to the film, the lead actor played a significant role in land preservation in Roxbury, Connecticut, his adopted hometown. As a founding member of the Roxbury Land Trust, he worked diligently to maintain the town's natural beauty, encouraging others like his friend Walter Matthau to make generous contributions to the cause. Pick Up on South Street remains a classic in the crime genre, appreciated for its storyline and the contributions of its cast to both cinema and conservation efforts.